Okay, I really don't think it's happening today. I can actually smell the smoke in the air. It's way too hazy. The sun is gonna rise there, so it just looks like it's too uh, too thick the smoke that I won't see any any sun coming down on these mountains. <coughs> it's too bad though. I really wanted to get a picture today. I'm gonna wait it out for maybe like half an hour and see if anything happens. But I doubt it. now but it doesn't look like it but I'm still taking some photos here even though it's not what I expected today at all well I mean it's not what I hoped for but I kind of expected this would be the case you know even though the situation is not what I intended where I came this morning to Bow Lake it's one of the for me it's one of my favorite locations to shoot here in Banff it's just so picture perfect like it's just amazing last year when i was here i was standing a little bit further down the down the uh, the lake and i was shooting that peak right there and it, i got dismissed in the morning like this fog because it was cool at night and it got warm during the day and it was something that i completely didn't expect but it blew my mind away and today i'm getting something a little different but Every time there's something different to offer here. But at least the good thing here is kind of I have this place all to myself this morning. Nobody around because obviously, you know, who's gonna come out to take pictures in this kind of weather, right? It's gotta be crazy like me. Well, I am getting some light over the peaks, some pink. So could it be happening? It might, it might happen. Oh, that would be so great if it happens. Crossing my fingers. So I'm definitely gonna maybe put a six stop and defilter on so I can get some long exposure going. Because also, there is some clouds and I'm getting some light from the sun. So not all is lost. I still have a chance to get a photo here. Yes. So happy. I think it's happening guys, I might get a photo here, very very nice, I really like this kind of photo. Okay, I'm gonna drop in my s I'm gonna focus, Do I won't switch to manual focus because I don't want that to start hunting when I put this, this is six stop and defilter, I'm gonna slide that in, alright, so I'm gonna switch to manual bulb I'm gonna take my trusty app here basically I'm gonna get one chance at this to do it right and if it works I'll get a really nice image that's what I'm hoping for I click start take a picture we'll see what happens it's giving me an exposure of five minutes it's kind of crazy it's still it's giving me exposure of six seconds which is kind of a long exposure but I want to go really dramatic on my shots so <coughs> definitely with the polarizer and the three stop soft grad and the ND filter I will achieve that effect Whew. I gotta wait I think it's gonna be worth it it's kind of the reason why I said I got one shot to make this right because five minute five minute exposure is pretty much gonna be the nicest light maybe maybe the light's gonna be better they can get a chance to get another exposure but if not if this could be the only one that I get and I want to be sure that I do get it right and then I'm happy I can go back and have my breakfast feeling satisfied so 
So to talk a little bit about my composition here, I got this river stream that's kind of, all this water is kind of emptying into the lake and it's kind of curves really nicely to my left and I'm using that as a leading line to everything else in the in the background. I got the mountains, the lake. Well, I'm gonna take one more picture and I'm gonna pack up and head back to, to probably get some breakfast in town and just warm up and have a coffee. I think I'm really happy with the picture how it turned out though because it's, it's just, it looks really, really nice. It's different from what I usually take. So I'm really happy with that. Well, in order to get that one shot of the train passing, I was waiting there for like two hours just so I can get the train passing in front of that famous spot. Which pretty much everybody knows that spot, that curve where the classic Canadian Pacific train passes through, you know? It's like, um, I really wanted to get that shot and even though it took me two hours, but as photographers, when we kind of set our mind to one thing, we want to get it and I wanted to wait and get it. But in the meantime, when I was waiting, by the time it actually got there and I was able to film it on video, it pretty much uh, didn't plan anything for sunset, which is fine. I kind of enjoyed the two hours just sitting there, enjoying the nature and looking at the views of the sunset while waiting for the train. So basically tonight, I'm gonna not gonna shoot anything because I really didn't plan anything. Just, the light's already gone and I'm nowhere near set up. I'm just gonna head back uh, to campsite, maybe make something to eat and then uh, go to sleep and uh, get up for sunrise tomorrow and we'll see how the weather is gonna cooperate tomorrow, maybe I'll get a nice uh, sunrise, maybe it's gonna be epic, maybe it's gonna be not, so we'll see. But definitely I'm gonna take pictures being this is a camera tomorrow, I have two days left here, so I'm pretty much gonna ho hopefully get two sunrises and two sunsets before I leave. Oh, we'll see. 